Hey guys, welcome back to Final Hill. My name is Matt. Today we got some cutting to do, guys. We are going to, well, I've already got the uh, firewood cutting processor loaded up. We're going to do some sawing. Um, I don't know if y'all saw my last video with the cutting uh, processor. I put a gas chainsaw in there because I couldn't run my electric chainsaw and my electric conveyor at the same time. Well, I've got a solution for that. Stick with me and see what we got. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is my solution to my fully electric uh, cutting processor. This is the Vitaman Jump Box 1800 watts. Um, it's got a 3600 peak watt and it's got about 1548 watt hours for the battery capacity. This thing is a power horse, guys. This thing is stock, like super solid. It is kind of heavy, but that's what you get with more power, right? This box, I think, weighs around 38 pounds. Um, you can see how well this stuff is packaged, guys. This is covered on both sides of it. You can throw this thing down a hill and it's not gonna affect this box at all. Um, it comes with all the connections you need, whether it's a cigarette lighter plug-in, a solar panel charger, or just a wall outlet. Um, it comes all nice and neat. Gave me some stickers and, of course, user manual. Um, this thing is very similar to all other power boxes. It's got all your uh, 12 volt plug-ins, your USB. There's a quick charge plug-in as well, your cigarette lighter, um, USB ports, and this one has a jump cable uh, box where you can jump your car. Um, as well as what's really cool about this thing that I actually didn't know until I started reading up on it. This thing will let you add an external battery to it and double the battery capacity of it. I think it plugs in, yeah, right here. If you plug this in right here, uh, it will give you another whole battery. So guys, so here's the highlight on the side of the box. This feature is the capacity of a 1548 watt hours, um, but with the expandable uh, battery that you can get, you can add double. So you can literally double your battery capacity by adding another battery to this. Um, as well as this allows you to charge and use at the same time. So if you're using your solar panel, you can charge it and use the wattage at the same time. So you don't have to charge, wait to everything to charge and then use it. Um, it's it's uh, super easy to use guys. It's got your capacity, the watts that you use. Um, and then for every section that you wanna use, it's got its own button to uh, turn that on. So yeah, right now we're at 82 percent guys all right guys so we're over here at the cutting processor we got the uh, cutting processors loaded somewhat it's all falling over now that i'm moving stuff but we got the electric chainsaw hooked up to the house and then we're going to hook up the conveyor to the box uh this box is 1800 watts i don't think it will be able to hold the uh hold the wattage of this chainsaw just because of how much it peaks and stuff like that when it gets into thicker wood so i got that hooked up the house and the conveyor hooked up to the power box so let's see how this thing works all i gotta do is plug her in all right engage the belt
so there we go guys that's an all electric processor right there um me personally i like the echo way better than electric saw that uh echo just cuts through it whatever you give it um and those bigger logs you could feel that electric starting to bog down a little bit but the power box did its job also and worked with the uh conveyor so now i know i could take this conveyor anywhere on my property and run it off that power box uh and i do not have to run a line so that's really really cool and that was the main purpose of that power box was to run that conveyor so that i could use this processor anywhere um i think from from now on i'm going to use my echo the gas chainsaw um just because the main reason for electric chainsaw was qu it was quiet and uh you didn't have to take it off for putting gas and stuff in it but i think i'd save way more time running that gas chainsaw um than dealing with the uh, le le electric chainsaw so uh let's speed through the rest of this stuff right here guys the veto man 
power box can definitely handle a 24 foot conveyor electric motor man that is super nice it uh brought us down from i guess 82 to 61 so about 20 percent running this thing for probably i guess 30 minutes um but we're getting close to another full tote here so with this guys one thing about this whole process again is it lets you put everything in a bin whether it's crap wood or good wood there's no more cleanup after it the cleanup's done other than the little stuff that falls in between there and the reason uh it fell between here and also a couple of these logs rolled out is somehow conveyor was shifted forward it might have been because i moved i moved it up and it might have rolled a little bit um but what i have to do is i have to back this conveyor back up a little bit and none of this will fall out anymore and it'll go in there all right guys we got the uh log deck cleared we almost got one of those totes full over there um that power box did the trick with the uh conveyor and i'm super super happy with that now i don't have to run cords from the house anymore um just bring this thing out and set it up also that allows me to move that conveyor anywhere in the wood yard if one day i decide to move it that is a huge huge help all right guys so that does it right there um that veto man power box is awesome guys thank you veto man for sending that to me um that thing is super super powerful um and it's well made guys they are giving me a discount code to give to you guys in case y'all want to purchase one on a, a cheaper rate um that's super cool that they're doing that as well as i'm putting the link in description with the code in the description as well um a lot of you guys use electric conveyors and i don't and some of you are using generators some are using your house electricity well now you know that the veto man 1800 watt will probably work with your conveyor as well because that's uh that's a pretty big motor on that one right there it's 24 foot so uh and it's old so you know how the those old things put way more power than the new things for whatever reason i guess technology right but the good news is that veto man power station or power box jump box whatever you want to call it the 1800 watt does the trick for old conveyors um and that is what i was looking for now that gives me the luxury to put that conveyor anywhere um actually i was going to use that conveyor to start stacking piles in my other wood yard um but i just was tired of running the uh, drop cord then in and out so that's going to give me that ability as well which is a big help because i think i'm going to start piling wood instead of stacking it in next year we'll talk about that in another video but anyways guys thanks for watching make sure you like subscribe we'll catch you next time